So API first is the second concept in Mac architecture. Yet many people I talk to think that maybe API first is a redundant concept as Mac architecture already has microservices and headless, both of which are API concepts. And I've covered those concepts in previous videos, but in this video, I'm gonna cover what API first means in the context of Mac architecture, how it differs from microservices and headless, and how it differs from the previous approach of code first. So let's get into the detail of what the API first approach really means, and let's waste no more time. Let's get to it. So code first was how we used to build applications. It's how I started my career. It's how I used to build applications in yeah. the beginning. And as the name suggests, you would start with the design and then the code of an application and then consider the APIs at the end. You would insert the APIs once you'd finished the core functionality in the application. And what you do is you build that core functionality out of modules of code that you glue together. So with code first approaches, you tended to build monolithic applications that were really accessible through a UX and only had a minimal set of API coverage. So code first development can lead to lots of delays and lots of revisions as you start adding the interfaces and adding APIs and altering those APIs to really work with what the consumers need. So to help explain this, let's look at a really simple analogy. Imagine you're trying to build a highway that's going to join up two cities, City A and City B. And imagine that City A and City B are, say, a thousand miles apart. So in the code first approach, you take a look at the map, you'd look to see where the obstacles are, where do you need a bridge, where do you need a tunnel, are there any obstacles you need to curve around? You might look at something like the climate and see what materials you needed to use for the road, what's the best tarmac to use, for instance. I'm not an expert in road construction, but imagine you've went through that process first. You then get your teams together and then start building that road. So now let's imagine that road is now complete and you release it into the general public and everyone's really excited of getting on this new highway. What happens is a week later, you get inundated with news stories of people being stranded on the road, families being left without food and water 500 miles in the middle of this road. And why is that? It's because you neglected to think about adding service stations. And not only that, you get a political storm where cities X, Y, and Z have not been connected to the road because you didn't put that in the design. You didn't think that was necessary. And the reason why that happens is that you focused on building the core functionality of the road and not about the consumers of that road. You haven't thought of the road as a service. If you think about the highway as a service first and then build the core functionality, you wouldn't have had those problems. And that's what API first tries to address. So what is API first? Well, let's start with the standard definition of API first. So API first in development is where you consider your APIs as first class citizens. And what you're developing is developed with the end goal of API consumption in mind. It means that all functionality is completely accessible through the API. There is complete API coverage. There's not one piece of functionality that can't be accessed through an API. It also means there are no restrictions on using that API. There is no special SDK you have to use so that you can get access to a particular piece of functionality. So to try and help understand what that really means, I'm going to answer three questions. What is the difference between API first and code first? What is the difference between API first and headless? And what is the difference between API first and a microservice. And before we move on, if you like this video so far, can you do me one little favor? Can you scroll down a little bit and hit that like button so that this video can be shared to many others? Thank you. So why is API first different to code first? As we outlined earlier, in code first, you build your application, you build your core functionality, and then you bolt on your APIs. Whereas in API first, you start by creating the APIs. And after those APIs are created, you then start building the core functionality to support those APIs. So what this means is that you start focusing on imagining your business in terms of consumable services. And you start thinking about the business problems you're solving with your services. And this strategy helps you merge your business model with all the new exciting functionality and technology you're building. So basically, the API first approach thinks of the highway as a service, who is using it and how it's going to be used. So what's the difference between 
API first and headless. So headless technology is about creating a system that is completely independent from the implementation of its presentation and user experience using sets of APIs. And that sounds a lot like API first, right? But the real difference comes down to API coverage. Delivering the user experience is only a fraction of the functionality of a system. For instance, an e-commerce system is not just about delivering the experience, but it's also about delivering a brand's business model. It's about delivering business user workflows and allowing you to connect to other systems in that ecosystem. And that is why API coverage is so important. Without great APIs, it's impossible to integrate these systems together and give you the business user experience you need. So it's entirely possible to have a headless system and it still not be API first. So what's the difference between microservices and API first? In previous videos, what we learned was that Microservices are essentially a way of building application APIs. It focuses on grouping APIs around functional domains. It's not necessarily about the API coverage. So therefore, again, you can have a system with a sets of microservices and it's still not to be API first. So API first means you develop a system that delivers value to all the consumers of that system far more quickly and efficiently than just leaving your APIs as an afterthought. So for more context on API first, I highly recommend you watch the next video on Mac architecture, and that is cloud native, the next concept in Mac architecture. It will go into detail of what cloud native is and what the context is within Mac. But for now, it's time to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.